This presentation will introduce the information literacy instruction options available at Callahan Library for the spring 2021 semester. Our instruction modalities, which were in our reopening plan last fall, include the on-ground traditional in-person class, the hybrid, a combination of on-ground sessions with remote sessions, the remote class, which is fully synchronous and online, and the online class, which is asynchronous and students access material in their own time. To support these, we have three information literacy modalities. There are some variances within them, and I want to go through them with you. The class visits are for the traditional visit to the lab, Virtual sessions are for your synchronous or synchronous online sessions. They can be for hybrid on ground class or on ground classes. And then there's the pre recorded session that we can produce for you. You can post that on Canvas and your students can do it in their own time or if you wish to view it with them in class. If you opt for the traditional session in the library, which is most likely for an online class and your option in a hybrid class, the seating in L10 is now capped at 14. We had a seating of 28, but for social distancing, we now have 14. Classes enrolling 15 or more students. We have quite a few of them last semester, which is a nice thing, but it also presented some challenges. So what were the solutions we came up with? One was to have a class visit on two days, flipping class lecture with the library. For example, a class came in uh, with half of its students on Tuesday and the other half on Thursday. It's up to the professor how he or she would like the other day covered. Some assigned independent work for the students who were home. Others may have recorded something for them to do. That's one solution. Simultaneous lectures. We did this um, in L10, of course, L10 only seats 14. So if we had a class of 20, 14 sat in L10, and the other six were in a room we dubbed as an annex. Depending on enrollment, it could be any one of the ones shown on the screen. We like to use L11 because it's right across the hall, but we did wind up using L2, L14 on different occasions. The problem there is that neither of those rooms of those annex, none of those annex rooms are labs. So what we did to give students the searching experiences is that we purchased 15 Chromebooks and those were in the annex. So that once students started searching following the demonstration, they were all able to do that. How we handled that was on some occasions, the librarian teaching in L10 zoomed the demonstration over to the other room where there was a librarian there to take care of the Zoom and also to help the students. When we got to the lab section of the class where they were actually searching, there was the other librarian in the other room. So there were two librarians helping students search. If you opt for a virtual session, which would be for the remote classes and the hybrids that choose to have their library visit remote, we had synchronous lecture and an interactive lab demonstration. If we were doing this virtually, we would use breakout rooms if needed. We're trying as closely as possible to replicate what we do in the L10 lab, which is if a student has an individual question, they raise their hand, the librarian comes over and helps them. In an online environment, we did not want a student who maybe was searching about a private matter um, to need to show the whole class what they were doing. So that's a case where you could use a breakout room. A librarian would put the student in the breakout room and see their screen, consult with them individually. You can also have an asynchronous video sent to you, which you can either watch with your students on one occasion and schedule a follow-up lab with a librarian on another occasion. Um, some just push this out to Canvas and then scheduled a, for the students to watch on their own and then scheduled a follow-up lab. We also, you can also have an asynchronous video without a lab. Students, if they have questions about searching, can follow up with the librarians on their own. And there's 
always the option of just a recorded video. We have a good sized tutorial collection, but we know that you may have custom searching that would need to be done uh, for specific classes, particularly the upper level thesis classes. We can produce one for you, uh, send you the presentation directly for Canvas. And just like the other example, the students can meet, reach the librarians via chat or appointment for follow up. We've updated our instruction request form to accommodate all these new situations that we have. Let me just bring it over here. Um, you'll notice that there are now questions on the instruction form asking, what is your course modality and what's your preferred session modality? Uh, we also do need cell phone information because so many people are not on campus. The form is really the best way to go. You can send an email, but the question then becomes, where is all the data kept? It's better than sorting through many, many emails. So thank you for your attention, for your visit, and we look forward to helping you. Here's the link for the form. If you have a general question, you can send it to this address, callahan.instruction, or you can write to me directly. Thank you very much and best wishes for a good spring semester.